Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by AnyTrans and the AnyTrans app transfer feature. You can transfer any and all apps directly from one phone to another with all their data. Simply connect both devices to AnyTrans, select phone switcher, select transfer now, and then you select the device that you're transferring the apps from and to. Click next. It'll load all the applications that are on your device. Then you can select the app that you would like to transfer with all its data. Click next. Verify it with your password and now you can transfer that app and app data directly to another device. Very, very simple simple with just a few simple clicks. So check out any trans in the app transfer feature. Links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, so Apple has just released iOS 16.1, the next major update to iOS 16. But in this video, as per usual, I wanted to share with you guys a few things you should consider doing on your iPhone right after you update to this major update to iOS 16, 16.1. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, right after you update to iOS 16.1, the first thing I always recommend everyone to do is go into your settings app, go into general, and then go into the about section. Now, if there's any carrier update, it will pop up here in the middle of your screen and you want to update your carrier settings. This is the first thing you should always do right after you update to a major update of iOS 16 or any update of iOS 16 and beyond, right? Because you want to make sure that you have the best carrier settings and updates provided by your carrier in order to have the best service possible on the latest OS. Right after Apple releases a software update, most carriers do update their carrier settings in order to provide a better user experience and that's the first thing you should probably do now if you have automatic app updates enabled it doesn't matter you want to do this as well go into the app store here go into your avatar and make sure there's any updates available make sure to update those applications on your iPhone now the reason I say this is because sometimes apps could take maybe a day or two to actually populate into the app update section there and you want the best compatibility with your applications that way your apps are up to date and compatible compatible running as good as possible on the latest OS and this time around we do have a major update to iOS 16 right so from 16.0.3 to 16.1 so make sure you update those apps now for those of you that have an iPhone 12 mini iPhone 13 mini iPhone 10 R or iPhone 11 you can now enable the battery percentage indicator on the status bar of your iPhone so yes go into settings here you want to head on over into battery and you'll now find the toggle right there to enable the battery percentage so yeah those four devices that were missing from the list are now added on 16.1 so if you have one of those iPhones you can now go ahead and enable your battery percentage now one of the biggest features coming to the iPhone with iOS 16.1 is live activities now if you want to enable this feature I'm gonna show you how to do that you want to go into settings here you want to find all your apps that are compatible with live activities so for example on this list here I think I have Uber Eats which is compatible with live activities there it is and all you have to do is make sure that this toggle right here is enabled for that particular application. Now, iOS 16.1 has just been released, so over time, many apps will support this feature, so you wanna make sure that you check back into those settings and make sure that option is enabled by default. If it isn't, make sure you enable live activities if that's a feature that you would like to use on 16.1, which is the biggest one. I was really looking forward to this one. And last but not least, I would like to talk about the new clean energy charging, which is available here in the US. So clean energy charging is a great option here to help reduce your carbon footprint but I've noticed that during my beta testing and this feature sometimes prevented my iPhone from charging when I needed it to so keep an eye on this one it is on by default so if it happens to you you can always turn that off right there under the battery and charging section of your iPhone and there you guys have it just some quick tips on iOS 16.1 happy updating if you're updating your iPhone thank you for watching guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one peace